I'm about to open a brand new Singer Confidence Quilter Model 7469Q and start doing over 25 videos on this machine. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com where that's what we do. We open a sewing machine and then do a short video on every page of the manual. So whether you are thinking of purchasing this machine, you can check out what it all includes, how to use it, all the great to tutorials and steps that are part of this machine. See all the feet that come with it because this is loaded for all you quilters with four additional quilting bonus feet. Plus there's a table in it. If you've already purchased this machine, let's get you going on every part of this machine. So if you're tired of just sewing straight stitches, I'm going to take you from zero to hero. Now we have a few other classes that you can join us for. Number one, our Stitching Cosmos Online course. This is a course where we'll help you master all your decorative stitches and get you using all those extra accessory feet. So we'll always put links below the YouTube videos for all the additional feet that you can buy for this machine, which bobbins are the right ones, which needles to buy, or if you want to buy this machine, where you can actually purchase it. So we're so excited to get started. I always love opening a brand new box and it's sealed and then get started with our most popular videos which is how to thread it, how to put the bobbin in, and how to use the needle threader. So this is, let's see what all comes with this machine. So it's kind of a fun unboxing. So usually I haven't opened one of these machines before so it's always kind of a surprise of like where everything is. So first off we do see that the, I mentioned a slide on table. So I love this because it extends the work surface for your sewing area. So uh, as you put it on a table, which by the way, make sure you put it on a nice sturdy surface. Like let's avoid the card tables or the wiggly tables that aren't really sturdy because once you get sewing, the machine's gonna vibrate. And if it vibrates, you can actually get skip stitches and other issues. So in here, I am also noticing our pack of uh, walking foot, a quarter inch foot, a uh, darning foot and an open toe foot. So in here are your extra feet that you're going to love. We're going to show you all the little tricks and trades of that. Along the side, uh, we have a quick start uh, part, your manual and even a little DVD, but to tell you the truth, just watch our videos. We got you covered. And let's see what else we've got. Down along the other side is all of our other accessories. I'll take a video and just walk you through what each of these feet do, what are some of these odd other looking things in your bag, and then where you can store them on this machine. Now, this is one little trick that I learned a long time ago. How to get a sewing machine out of a box really easy is just go ahead and flip it over, let the styrofoam come down on the table, and like magic, let's go ahead and take that sewing machine right on out here. On this side, I have a little cubby right here this is usually where the foot control power cord type things are setting. So if you want to get a hold of those, um, definitely you can do that first. Now let's see which way we're coming open here. We are totally upside down, of course. So let's flip it right side back up. There she is. There is a handle on the top. So if you want to get a hold of that, that'll help you bring it all the way out to the side. So one of the things that we are going to do is take you through a little tour of the machine, all the cool things that are going to be included. Like I mentioned a needle threader is going to be on here. It has 98 total stitches built into this machine that's quite loaded. There are eight essential stitches. Those are kind of like your utility stitches. There are seven buttonholes. Six of them are automatic and one is an endless buttonhole. And then there are six stretch stitches. So if you're working on knit fabrics or things that you need the, the stitch to actually have some give to it, make sure you're picking those stitches for when you're working on stretchy fabrics. We'll go through, again, videos on those types of stitches and some techniques to go with it. You have a twin needle 
option. So if you wanna use a twin needle, sometimes called a double needle, we're gonna thread one of those up for you, show you some fun decorative stitches and utility stitches you can do with a twin needle. And one of my favorite features I always use when I sew is the feature where the needle stops up or down. And on this machine, that is a programmable option. So you can actually pick which one, whether you want it down or up. That feature will also save you a lot of headaches when you start to learn how to sew. So I will teach you those little tricks of the trade. Plus this machine only weighs 19 pounds. And I say only, because so it's not super heavy, but I will tell you it lands in the category of size and weight that puts it so it's not like bouncing on your table. There are some sewing machines that are even lighter weight. And sometimes when you sew, they start to kind of uh, vibrate. So this one I would say lands in that category of when you sew, you're gonna feel that sturdiness of the machine. So I can't wait to get started, show you all the fun features and stitches that this machine has. Make sure you check out our video on sewing out all your decorative stitches. We talk about making a stitch book and I'll reference that throughout our video course. We've got about 25 to 30 videos to start on. So I can't wait to get started. If any of our videos have been helpful for you, there are four things that you can do. You can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can leave a comment and don't forget Sharing is caring. So if you know people that need help using their sewing machines, don't forget to hit that share button as well. I can't wait to get started with you.